Hello, welcome to the fourth dimension tarot. My name is Maria. I'm your Sherpa for this read. It is Friday, made it through yet another week. So excited. Uh, if you found me, this is a channel uh, of intuitive tarot and I do a weekly Zodiac preview of what you can anticipate for the week forecast uh, over the weekend. And today it's what you can expect during the weekend. So hopefully this will resonate with you. Hopefully it'll be a really good weekend. More of a laundry, right? Okay, first thing out is an inverted love triangle. So it looks like maybe the love triangle got broken up. We have ignoring and photo proof. Anything else? I'd like to get a couple more, please. If you're new to fourth dimension, ooh, got quite a bit. We welcome you, me and the dog. And uh, we'd love to have you hit that subscribe button, help you join the tribe, increase our algorithm about a foot and a half. And that way you're notified when I upload new content versus um, me emailing you because we all know that's not gonna happen. Oof, okay. If you ask me one more, just one more, please. There we go. All right, what do we have to look forward to? We have the love triangle that's in the reverse. So it looks like maybe several of you had a third party situation that blew up this week. And if you saw my midweek, you'd understand what I was talking about. Uh, right below that is somebody who's feeling threatened by this breakup and they might be intimidating or using, using intimidating conversation to keep you around. Uh, we do have this child services in reverse, so maybe that res was resolved. And again, that was some interesting information that I came across. It was, uh, I, I feel like somebody's tried to play it off. I'm serious, the second I touched it, I felt like somebody was trying to play it off as, as a misunderstanding. <laughs> ah, that's a lot. That's a lot of BS is what, <laughs> what that is. It's just a misunderstanding. I didn't mean to create this big dramatic traumatic, life-changing, stress-evoking uh, situation for you. It was just a small, slight error on our part. Uh, you might be spending some time alone um, as you, I feel, are getting ready uh, for moving. Somebody's packing their bags and moving, and somebody is feeling it. This is ain't shit. So, you know, the reverse of it is you might be feeling like it did, it did impact. This did impact you. Um, it's because so much you're packing your bags. So some people might feel like they're ignored. Um, and the third row center is getting evidence, uh, photo proof hooked and queen rising in the reverse. So I, I remember in the middle of the week, I did that. Uh, it was pretty, it was pretty profound. I gotta be honest with you. It was, uh, it felt like a pretty harsh bottom for somebody that they lost their friends. They lost their relationships. They definitely had made some karma in their own life and they felt like they were living it out a little bit. They were getting um, they were getting the definite ramifications of some of the behavior and somebody is presenting or somebody presented proof um, and unhooking, I, I feel, or hooking somebody up to uh, the feeling of that karma. So the queen rising who was stepping up and looking to get in power um, was in the reverse. So it sounds like somebody got knocked on their tail um, and maybe, maybe came off, um, a sense of like, I get hierarchy almost like a sense of, I run the show. I don't know. I don't know. Um, but they definitely are experiencing some humility for sure. Uh, we do have an obsessive lover. Somebody is still trying to be a, an impersonator and cloud hungry, trying to get their foot back in the door. And I also think it's also trying to get, um, some form of attention of somebody. So somebody's like coming off more important or they're feeling threatened. They feel threatened. So they're trying to, thank you for that. They're trying to gain somebody's attention by imaging through mirroring somebody that they still have feelings for or a, a affection or attention for. So I feel like one partner is trying to adopt the the likelihood or the, the look-alike of somebody else. I, I mean, the word that comes to mind is dop, doppelganger. <laughs> I think that's the word. I, it's not part of my vocabulary. Doppelganger. I didn't make up the word. It's like a mirror, right? So you're looking at your twin um, 
and it's, it's, you know, okay. Everybody thinks I have Chris Jenner's haircut. Well, clearly not anymore. But um, when I let it grow out a little bit, I kind of resemble her haircut, that sort of thing. I, I don't try to look like Chris, I'm my own human. Um, but you know, that's kind of like that vibe is somebody is trying to, somebody's trying to mirror that or try to adopt those, the imagery of somebody else. And that's kind of what I have here. Um, it's a little possessive. It's a little, it's very karmic, that's for sure. It's, um, it's just not trying, it's not being yourself, you know, even as weird as you are, you know, which we all are. Uh, last thing is I have fishing for comments. So I feel like, and that's in the reverse. So somebody might've given up trying to make this, um, like the, I get, okay. So fishing for comments and unfazed in the reverse, along with crying over you, sad, hurt, and upset. This is still in the upright, but the unhazed, or excuse me, the unfazed, they might be a little unhazed. I don't know. Maybe they just got off the weed. I don't know. But I feel like the, the fishing for comments and the unhazed, what comes off of this is the ego. The ego has been put, sat down, and they're really dealing with some feelings. That's kind of what I got. Um, so you might be having some relationship issues. You might be uh, trying to close some chapters, finalize some chapters. So several I get are moving, moving out from their current situation. I got, I, I mean, I had a picture of somebody with a duffel bag. Literally, that's it. That's all they had. Just I'm out. I'm walking out of here, leaving, leaving everything else there. So tell me, Spirit, about what's happening this weekend for the collective. What's going on? Anything they need to know other than laundry? Tell me. What can we anticipate for this weekend? Mm, secrets coming out. Somebody's trying to get out of the cold. I can already tell. Okay, I'm gonna stop there for right now and go in the front. Oh, this is nice. Okay, so la 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 la. To be fair, I'm gonna leave that in the middle like that. Da, 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 da. Mm. You guys are so patient. Thank you so much. I just need one more. Mm. One more, please. Oh, perfect. Okay. All right, collective, right off the bat, right off the bat. Oof, this is scary. Now again, lots of folks watch this and so I'm just picking up on the energy that is, that's coming in. Yeah, Queen of Pentacles in the reverse. So this person is, you might be dealing with somebody who's jealous. Somebody who's got, I get a, a sense of jealousy. I get a sense of moody, not like not happy. Um, you might be dealing with somebody who's going to come in and historically has given you four pentacles. I think this feels like a past relationship. So you might be visited by somebody in the past. I do believe they're going to text you. They're going to start with texting you, maybe even call you, just check in on you, see how you're doing. I don't think this is going to be a run in. I don't think you're going to have somebody knocking on your door, but I do believe they're going to reach out and try to reconnect. I do have the three of pentacles. Or excuse me, the Ace of Pentacles. Somebody's going to come in and offer you a brand new beginning. That's the conversation that's coming in. The Four of Pentacles in reverse is historically they, you were the one that overgave in this relationship, and now somebody's coming in saying, "I recognize that, and I'm willing to give my more than my share. I made a mistake." Um, I think that they recognize there's chaos, um, and there was no reward in whatever situation they were in. They were sitting there, uh, left, really honestly left bored is the best way. <laughs> I get bored. They are bored and discontented in their current situation. There is, there, I get this, like I get a picture in my head of somebody looking around their environment and it's the same old, same old. And I heard same shit different day. And all I could think of is this is it. This is what I've been fighting for to stay in, like this is it. So they, um, they're they making a choice uh, in that moment and they're rushing out literally to have a conversation. They made that decision. That's like almost immediately. Now, in this conversation, they are up in their head. They are definitely full of anxiety. My little toilet paper lady, oh my adore. Now again, that's high anxiety. And when we slow down and we just look and we don't, we don't really listen to the anxiety because we understand it's just fear. Nothing else is in this card. Nothing. There's nothing threatening this person other than ego. Again, my friend, the ego, ego is not your amigo, but because when we listen to our ego, our ego tells us all, we make up stories that aren't true, right? We've already created a scenario that never comes to play out. 
And that's what this person is doing. So they aren't being quite honest, but they are going to come for it. This is, you know, this is some secrets. This is truth. They're stick. They're kind of, no, mm -mm. they're kind of stuck in their head. They're not going to come forward and tell you the whole story. Um, and they're not even sure what they want out of this relationship. They're going to come forward and have a conversation about it, but they're not, they're listening to their intuition. They know they need to come forward, but they're not going to be, um, they're not sure if they want to have a relationship or just to amend. How about that? They don't know what they want still. <laughs> they just know that they don't want the chaos. They just ran out. And I get that might be the person with the double bag, like Uber, uh, a stage left. All right. So we have the queen of wands in the reverse. I feel like several of you, uh, this is a large portion. You might, you might have a lot of self doubt. You're going through insecurity. You're you might be dealing with a partner who's demanding and jealous. I get that like mah, mah, aggressive, you know, uh, a lot of arguing, a lot of you're not measuring up kind of conversations. Uh, right below that is the four of swords in the reverse. So in the upright again is chilling, relaxing, chillaxing, meditating, thinking. This is in the reverse. It's, um, it's kind of like continuing despite consistent stress, not sitting down, not slowing down, not taking a moment to think, um, almost an unwillingness. It's almost like, no, I don't, I don't want to know. <laughs> I don't want to get any, I don't need enlightenment. I'm fine. No enlightenment for me. I'm okay with my own, my own committee telling me what's right and wrong. Um, so I feel like you might be struggling with somebody or know somebody that either just got out of a relationship, wants to get out of a relationship, or on the verge of getting out of a relationship and didn't even know that they wanted out until this weekend. And they make a decision like that. King of Wands in the reverse is intolerant, cruel, you know, stubborn. They're just stubborn, I think. And this is this is the same person who's also exhibiting um, that won't sit down. I gotta go, we got so much going on. And it's, it's really high-end expectations of other people you know, I don't know what to say. It's a, a bit of, a bit of lack of balance right here. Five of pentacles in the upright. Somebody's feeling left out in the cold. I think this is the same person who was sitting evaluating this relationship with a duffel bag on their arm, ready to head out. And they are missing somebody from their past and they get up and they don't want to be left in poverty anymore. And they're going to leave. They're going to get up and walk out. King of Swords, they finally have an honest conversation. This person here is in the upright, and he is, it's a king, it's mafia king, mafia husband, and he is going to go after what he wants. Finally, he's articulate, truthful. Um, he has a design and a plan, a strategy, and he is going to go go get what he's always wanted, but clearly wasn't ready to make. In the center of the spread was, I don't know what I want, right? Um, now he does. Going forward, he knows exactly what he wants. And then he's going to celebrate his success right there. He wants to celebrate his success. I want to know a little bit about this two, this two of swords to give clarity to the viewer. Two of swords, please, spirit. That's a lot, y'all. Oof, yeah. Two of swords. Two of swords is defined as king of cups. Yep, the lovers and the ten of swords. I can't make this all up, y'all. So what this is saying is this relationship with this uh, this human um, used to be the king. This person who, who's now the king of swords acting in truth is used to have a lot of deep love for his partner. I feel it because it, it is a guy because you have two kings here. But now recognizes that he's the only one keeping this alive. And there's not really a reason why he's staying. That's in the center of the spread. Tell me more about this uh Five of Pentacles, please. Five of Pentacles in the upright. Five of Pentacles, thank you. That's not, okay, I should be able to get it. Ah, Five of Pentacles in the upright is a sun, is the Nine of Cups and the Three. Yeah, the Three of Wands in reverse. So the reason why this is in reverse is it's forward movement. And the five of pentacles, this is the card I'm defining, is I'm left out in the cold. I'm, I'm being left behind. My beloved is moved forward without me. And I get the sense that this person has had deep, deep feelings for this person that they want to come after um, to celebrate, to have a celebration. This is what they're, this is kind of what they're manifesting is they're manifesting a happy ending and to be happy in a requited relationship. And yet 
this is their wish fulfillment right here. And they're saying there were some delays. I get the delays. This is the sun, the happiest card in the deck, like I said, and the nine of, nine of cups. Somebody has to offer their 10 to have the 10 of cups because it's joint, right? It's partnership. Um, and it's just the one person sitting all by himself. So there's only nine, just a little tarot education there for you. But I do feel like this, this king had been sitting in this space of responsibility of um, a long-standing relationship. It's been a long-standing relationship and there just isn't a whole lot of anything left. Not a lot of love, not a lot of compassion, very little um, nurturing, lots of ego. Got a lot, got a double portion of that. But I do feel like there is some animosity at this point, lack of trust. <sighs> Whatever they were saying for is gone. And I think they realize there's not anything there for them. They're the ones over giving. They're the ones consistently over giving to this relationship and they need to walk away from it if they ever want to be happy to get what they want. Tell me about the secrets, the moon. I want to know what are, what are the secrets this person's holding? What's got to come out? Thank you. Mm. Tell me more. So yeah, well, that's a lot. Okay. So I'll take these. That makes sense. So we have a couple. Uh, all right. So when I said, I want to know more about the moon, like the moon is the secrets, but it was on the side. So they're telling some of the secrets, but not all the secrets. So the first one is they feel like they're in a prison. They're really kind of challenged every day. They got a lot of anxiety that they're sharing. And they, they've been in this space for a long, long time. What should I do? And they're now coming out of it. Um, so they're all actually, yeah, they feel hopeless. Um, and they're trying to find hope. They finally are, are telling, this is not what I want. <laughs> I, I'm i not hopeful this is going anywhere because the 10 of wands is in the upright. They're dropping this. Those are the first three. The second three, as if that wasn't enough. They just said, we just want to make a point. <laughs> this is the moon card. Um, so clarifying the moon card, we also have the tower in the upright. And the, t the tower is saying, um, it's change. It's an immediate and uncomfortable change, but it's still change. People are jumping from this tower because it's coming down. And this king is pulling the final brick out from the foundation and saying, um, I'm having strife. I'm, I'm, you're cynic. You're not happy. You're negative. Um, you're dependent. Like all of this stuff. Um, I'm, I'm feeling like I can't forgive you for several of the things you've done and said. Because that's this card, and that's the six of cups in the reverse. In the upright, it's uh, nostalgic, warm thoughts. You're missing somebody. In the reverses, you want to run away from that person. And the ten of pentacles in the reverse again was the final card defining the moon, and it was instability, problems, insecurity. So it's you know this is abundance. This is your you know the you, the most you can get in tarot is ten, and you got the ten which is the joint union of two people. Nine of Pentacles is the pre-empress, right? And this is the couple of them. It's the happy, happy wife, happy life card. <laughs> you, have, you have the joint the joint couple there. And it's usually the empress and the emperor sitting there around their kids, watching their, you know, all their assets and their grandkids and their babies and the babies to the babies and all that. And the dogs and um, having tea on the porch, you know, that's kind of the vibe. Um, and that's what he wants because it's in the reverse, which is misery. This is misery. I'm very, very unhappy. So this is your, I always love doing the weekend spreads. Y'all, this is what you got to look forward to. Hopefully this isn't your story. I want to hear like, I want I should make some cards that say like Costco laundry. <laughs> Get, make sure my taxes are done for those in the U.S. Um, you know, wash the car. I don't know. Is there anything else, Spirit, that you want to say? for the collective for today. Queen of Cups in reverse. Ah, five of Swords in the upright. Page of Swords. Queen of Swords. Woo, yeah. Okay, so in a nutshell, oh my gosh, somebody's moving forward. Somebody made the decision. This is forward. Somebody is on their way. Gonna come in, have a conversation. Um, they're leaving the, the inverted Queen of Cups. 
they're definitely walking out. That's the see you later. Sayonara. I'm done with this crap. Having a conversation. That's the uh, page. Having a combo um, with the queen. Going to have an honest conversation with this queen off of their head, right? Um, and she's my mafia queen. And got to be straight with you. It's um, the six of... Several are you going to deal with this. You have two sixes right here. One's a six of pentacles in the upright. And the other one is the six of swords in the reverse. So several of you may reject this. You may have an offer come in this weekend and it looks great on paper, but it doesn't, you, you might know better. And they're gonna say maybe that they're gonna offer more than what they had in the past. But again, I get the sense that you maybe have been down this road before. On the flip side, there are very, several again watching, it's very, it's an authentic offer. It's a truthful offer and you trust you, you miss this person tremendously and you want to pick up where you left off and do another cycle, another chapter with this person. So it sounds to me like it's going to be a very interesting weekend. Please keep me posted. I, I'm always interested to hear if this resonated and the comments are amazing. If you're new to the vibe, um, the channel, please, please, please hit that subscribe button on your way out along with the thumbs up button that helps us. Um, at least tells YouTube if this content and myself, if this content is relative, um, I appreciate it. I am going to switch up things again next week, but I do appreciate each and every one of you for watching and spreading the good vibes everywhere until uh, next week. Have a great weekend, everybody. See you later.